Howdy y'all, Chris Bone here from Mute Off The Bone in County Kitchen. Welcome back, I know it's been a while. I had some uh, IT troubles going on and we're still trying to figure that out, but uh, I just wanted to you know, let you know, yeah, I'm still here, I'm still doing videos. I'm not gonna stop doing that, uh, but uh, just, I'm okay. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm deciding I'm, I'm gonna, it's, it's about time I showed you how to do something from scratch, meaning, uh, today uh, I'm gonna I have some chicken uh, some chicken thighs and legs that are still still uh, still connected <clears throat> we're gonna make some baked chicken all right it's not it's not it's not hard um, but you do it, it is a little bit time-consuming it does take over over an hour depending on uh, how much chicken that you're, you're gonna you're gonna make but of course it being chicken it's versatile it's easy you know what you're doing it's really hard to screw it up but I want to show you a, a, a one of my favorite ways of doing mine I have done fried chicken before um, now I'm gonna show you how to do baked chicken it's just chicken in the oven with a with a seasonings and uh, that, that's really about it so let's start up now you see I don't know if you can see the camera but yes this is water I have my chicken soaking in the water it is meat. It is. Uh, it is uh, not processed. You can still see the skin is still on there, which I'm going to. Use. I'm going to keep the skin on. I'm, I don't like taking the skin off. The skin's good for you. Well, good for me because I like it. What I'm, I'm going to do is put some gloves on because I I don't really touch uh, raw food with my hands ever. I was like a vegetable because I can't. <clears throat> also, we are going to be using uh, olive oil and some seasonings and stuff like that, and I'm gonna, I don't want to get it all over the place. So, all right. I have the chicken in the water, which I, I put in earlier. You don't, I let it sit. I washed it off earlier and I let it sit in the water just to, just to make sure that it's t totally um, uh, clean. You know, as you can see, it's really good. Nice. Only got four of them. I don't have to do more than that. Just take these and stick them on a pepper towel. Just to beat them off. You don't want you don't want you know water all over them. There we go. Now while these are getting dry or dry-ish it doesn't have to be perfect that's the one that says water I'm going to show you we're just gonna be using a uh, olive oil which I have a little bit right here it's probably even too much but that's only that's about maybe uh, a half a cup if that of olive oil won't even need that much just enough to coat the chicken and then um, as that's drying I'm going to use these put them in here as a dry rub and we're gonna coat the chicken with the olive oil cook the chicken with a dry rub, stick them on here, stick them in the oven, and then we're great. All right, that's easy, simple. So that's what we're gonna do. So let's get to it. <clears throat> I have something on my throat today. Okay, as you can, I don't know if you can see from this. Yeah, you can. This is garlic, this is onion powder. This is my, uh, the perfect seasoning, which is kind of a, a cross between a, a garlic, onion powder, and some some other types of uh, Spanish seasoning, which I found I really, really like. Uh, black pepper, paprika, celery salt. My own uh, invention, it's a, it's chicken salt. It's actually, a, I got it from the idea in uh, Australia, they make chicken salt, which I, that's what this is. So it's almost like, tastes like, almost like seasonal to me. And maybe it's a, a mild chili. This by no means is what has to be on your chicken. This is just what I like to put on mine. All right. You can see this chicken is getting dry. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put this in here. And then we're gonna go ahead and take the chicken and stick it in. Not really stick it in, but just kind of a, you know. You want to coat the chicken thoroughly. 
thoroughly. Like use use chicken and rub on the other cheese. You don't you want a whole lot, but you just want it thoroughly covered. It doesn't have to be dripping with with uh, olive oil or any type of oil that you like, uh, but you do want it to have at least you know some because the olive oil will indeed help it crisp up in the oven, and it also keeps the uh, the seasoning stuck to it, which is what you want. So that, that's good. This is good. Use your other chicken to rub on the other chicken. I'm gonna take off the excess after we're done with the uh, after we're done with the uh, the seasoning. I just wanted to get the uh, the chicken in the oil and sitting and 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 kind of a uh, just I don't want to say soaking up the oil, but that's that's kind of what I what I wanted to do. Just let it sit in the oil for a while, just to just to let it get to know each other, make friends. All right, that looks good. And I take my gloves off now. Throw the excess away. Put that right cha. And now we're gonna start on the uh, rub. Now what I'm gonna do is after I make the rub, I'm gonna put the chicken on the uh, the baking baking pan and um, uh, skin side up, do my rub, turn it over, so skin side down, do my rub. Alright. Uh, that's important because I am going to put it in the in the oven at 400 degrees. If your oven, mine is going to since mine's power five, put mine about maybe between 400, 375, 400. Uh, it's going to be skin side down for about 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, and then after 15 to 20 minutes, we're going to take it out, turn it over with skin side up, and I'm going to leave it in there for a half hour to 45 minutes at the same temperature. That way, the entirety. Uh, Top both sides of the chicken will get will will get cooked, but the, since the skin side will be up, the skin side will dry out with the help of the olive oil and crisp up to perfection. You will see when it's done. Sometimes, if you look, you'll, the, the skin itself will start to bubble up, almost like a pork rind. It's really cool to watch. But that's how we're gonna do it today. So let's start on these. I'm sorry, I am like just uh, excited to be doing a video again. Finally, I haven't done one in a while. Missed y'all. All right, that's garlic. You can use as much or as little as, as you want. You notice I have zero salt here. I do not put any salt in because a lot of this stuff has salt in it, like my chicken salt, hence the name, the celery salt, um, and this has a little bit of salt in it. Onion. Let me put another pair of gloves on. Voila. I don't plan on using all of this seasoning. I just want to have enough to coat the chicken thoroughly. You see, I'm just eyeballing it. I'm not really, not really uh, measuring it at all. Some of it you'll use a lot, some of it you use a little bit. Your choice, totally your choice. Chili powder, a little bit of chili powder. All right. You know what? I'm gonna put a little bit more black pepper in. I like my pepper in. I can smell it, but I want more. There we go. That's what I want to see. Okay, that looks perfect. That looks really good. Watch my glove off. That's what you want. It is on the salty side. But that's exactly what you want. Okay. Now. So you got both of them here. I'm gonna put this right here. That looks good. So 
take take the excess off. Not all of it, just the excess. And I will retain this uh, this oil right here, just in case uh, I look in the oven and, it, and it's and it looks like it's drying out a little bit too much. I'll just put a little bit of oil in there, and uh, it's not going to keep it moist, but it will uh, <clears throat> it'll help it'll help cook. It'll help uh, it put a little bit of a uh, just a little bit of moisture in. All right, so take your chicken. Just ease it all around. This looks great. Getting little cracks and stuff inside the skin. That looks wonderful. It's fantastic. All right, now we are actually remember we're starting with the skin side down. Gonna put some more oil on here. I always seem to uh, always take too much oil off. I always rem have to remind myself to keep some of the oil on because you'll get a, a really dry piece of meat. But it still tastes delicious. See, I mean, I don't know if you can even see the oil. This is a little yellow on the, uh, that's, that's the oil. But I want I want the entire thing to be, have a little bit of oil. Not a lot, just, just coated. There you go, that's perfect. Okay, that, right there, and we're done. Put this to the side. That's what it's supposed to look like. Skin side down, as you can see, there's a skin right here. That's a skin side. How is it? It's five till twelve. All right. Smooth these like so. We are ready. Now remember, uh, your oven's at home, 400 degrees. I have to watch mine. My, my oven is like stupid powerful. In the middle, we'll see you in about 15 minutes, and just to just to turn, maybe maybe about 20 minutes, and then we're gonna turn the uh, the chicken over to the skin side, and then we'll go from there. All right, it's been about 15 minutes. Welcome back. Now we're just gonna take these. They look really good. They look really, really good. Now considering my, my oven is at between 375 and 400, um, I am probably gonna turn it down a little bit, but don't you turn yours down at your house. My oven's a whole lot more powerful than yours. All right, now all we're gonna do is take these. And we're just gonna flip them. I don't think I'm gonna need any more uh, seasoning. These are nicely seasoned. You can see the oil that's been uh, kind of coming off a little bit. Yeah. A little bit. You see how it's a uh, yeah, a little like the uh, the season kind of drying on the skin itself, but it's still it's still nice. These are going to turn out really really well. Okay. <clears throat> now, since my oven is so um, so powerful, I am going to set the timer off for another 15 minutes. 
just because it, there's there's not a lot of chicken here. There's, I, I don't have an entire sheet pan, you know. There's not they're not vying for the heat of the oven. They're just four of them, and the the heat of the oven's going around all four of them, as you see. So in 15 minutes, again, I'm going to try again. I'll stick my uh, my trusty thermometer in. Make sure it's at least 165 in the middle. And once that happens, that means it's done. And um, hopefully we'll go from there. Let's we'll see how it is. All right, I shall be right back in 15 minutes. All right, it's been 15 minutes again. Let's see how these turned out. And these look great. All right. So it doesn't take long. Like if you have a lot of chicken, um, it does take longer in the oven, but this powerful oven and there's only four pieces of chicken in it. So I'd, it's not be a lot of chicken. I'd be a long time. All right. I am going to, those look really, really good. Set these down. Seventy eight point four right now. Looking for minimum of one sixty five. Oh, I think we have got it. Maybe maybe next time I'm not going to do it on 400. Like I'm at home at my house, I do it 400 degrees. This this oven is just powerful, powerful. So, I mean, sure, if it says 400, it should be 400. But I think I'm going to go ahead and do like maybe 350 or something from now on. But anyway, <clears throat> we're over 200 degrees right now. Okay, well, well they, they are done. I'm going to break one open to show you. Let's turn this off. Oh wow, it's like fall off the bone. How do I get this? Eh, I wanna pick it up and show you, but it's really, really hot. It's like literally falling off itself. Maybe I have a napkin. But yes, this is exactly what you want to see. Look at this. <laughs> it is so tender that it just falls off the bone, literally. That is unreal. That's what you that is exactly what you want to see. You see how hot it is. But yeah, that is definitely, definitely what you want. It's very definitely hot. Hmm. Wow. <coughs> well, <coughs> considering the strength of his oven, which I already went through. Now you know how to make baked chicken. I mean, it, it doesn't it doesn't get any better than this. It doesn't. There's that little that little bone that goes in your. Ah, that's trash. The little leg bone thing. <clears throat> they don't stick. I mean, sure, there's a, some of the spices are kind of stuck to the pan, but these are all very very. <clears throat> Very good. Very, very good. Well, <clears throat> now you know how to do it. Thanks a lot for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know down below. <clears throat> Baked chicken's awesome. Thanks for the support. I'll see you all next time. Y'all take care.